Hello, it's Alan again. In this video, I'm going to show the technique that I use to take a photograph and convert it into scale drawings for a scratch building. See that this is the one that I'm modeling. I then take a number of reference measurements and they are done by calculating the number of bricks from here to here, the bricks from here to this side, and also another reference point from here to the base of this nib. I then take a further reference point from the center of the building, which we can find here, and again counting bricks to the peak. Once I have those measurements, I can then use the box method that I use to make the model um, drawing in Inkscape. I've also had to take a further measurement, which was the distance between this point here and this point here because the nib that sticks out is actually angled and then goes straight. So I took an extra measurement there. At this point, I changed the size of the photograph so that the measurement that I've calculated using the bricks from here to here, for example, I alter the size of the photograph using the box width and height. And then this will be the actual physical size of the model that I'm building. Having calculated my reference lines for this building, in particular from here to here, I know that is about 75 millimeters. So I adjust the size of this photograph to make this 75 millimeters, which is what I've done with this. And to check, I've just clicked on select, click on the roller, and then click on the where the top of the bricks are on that point of the building, drag, and we can see just under 75 mil. So this photograph now represents what the building is going to look like. I'll try to make this as simple as I can. These boxes are simply created using the select box and then click and drag and you've got a box. If you then deselect, click on, it will give you the measurement and you can alter the measurement here very easily. So if I wanted that 93 by 75, get that to 93, height by 75. And that's the box. So that would be how that box there was constructed and all the others are the same. So we'll take that one out of the way. <clears throat> Taking all the reference measurements and applying it to these boxes. The first one I'll look at is this one here, 93 by 59. That was the first one of the reference boxes was from there to where the nib sticks out of the building. Now you'll notice that it's wider than the actual photograph. That's because the photograph is at an angle. If you've got a full face on photograph, it makes it a lot easier, but I haven't got one for this. The next one I'll take would be this one, 100 by 4.5. This was the one that I measured on there. And I've checked that that actually does fit there. I take the next one, which was 100 by 11, and check that fits there. And yes, it does. I take the next one, which is the top box for the pitched roof, and that fits. So even though they're not aligned at the moment, that shows that they are correct in what I've built. So what we do now is take those back into place, ready to align all of the boxes and actually make the drawing of the actual frame of the building. The next thing we have to do is to just do one final check. And that was this box at the bottom, that that was actually the right size from that point to that point, which is correct. So that box is not really required anymore, but we'll leave it there. The next thing we need to do is to align all of these. So if you go to the top right and click on enable snapping, and these boxes will be already black. If not, make them black. Then you will find that when you click on a box and move it, it will try to align it for you and it will. Next one. 
and it will centralize everything for you. We select, then go to draw line, straight line, and you will find that it will align it for you. Click and drag and draw line. Double click and then right click and it will leave a line for you. If you then press select again, you'll see that it's drawn the line for you. That is exactly in the center of the building. This will allow us to draw the pitch or the peak of that roof from there. Now we're in a position to draw this frame of the building. If we click on select and then on draw straight line, start at the bottom left to there, then at an angle for the nib, then to the next for there, then to there, then to the pitch or the peak, down the other side, across to the nib, down to the nib, then the angle of the nib, then the bottom, then across. Right click and it will leave a frame for you there. Deselect. Now click on one of the pitches to the roof and drag it away. You now have the frame of the building. Now to check if it's anywhere near correct, drag it above the photograph, align it with the nib in particular, and it should fit perfectly. And you can see there's the nib built. This is slightly off because again, the photograph is at an angle. If you were doing this with um, a face front photograph, it would be exact. Now, the reason that we know that this is correct is because this side fits. So therefore, when that photograph, if it was swung round, that would be where the building is. You now have the first frame of the building. Thank you for watching. In the next video, I will be showing how to make the openings for these window frames. Thank you.